Sudoku, Sudoku uh, video, which sounded like a fun idea, a very classic ASMR video idea. If you've been on the channel for a while, you, you, you might notice this little, like, a top-down filming view. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to do this. Gonna do some gum chewing, do some whisper rambling over just some fun stuff. So yeah, make sure you do like the video. If you do like, 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 like the video, and also just subscribe to the channel. And maybe comment down below if you like this idea or you want more traditional ASMR videos like this, because I know I love them. And yeah, that's basically it. So, word search in Sudoku. Let's do a little bit of the word search first, just because it is the top one. And, uh, it is a SpongeBob, 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 SpongeBob SquarePants themed one, which sounds kind of fun. So, let's get started. Okay, so fairly quickly, we're just going to be doing a word search with, I'm guessing, some like SpongeBob words, words maybe. I'm not entirely sure. I just picked this up at a local grocery store while doing my weekly grocery shopping. And it's SpongeBob, and I'm sure everyone loves SpongeBob. He also has some Halloween themed things because I think tomorrow, when you guys see this video, uh, will be the first day of October, which is kind of cool. So, just have a little uh, flip through book, which is kind of cool. Now, this isn't just like a normal word search thing, it has like a bunch of different styles of word searches, like missing vowels, I guess, um, patch words, secret message word game. Um, other things, but we're just going to be doing the traditional word search, which I think is a, is a great idea. Yeah, it gives you a little, a little rule thing on like how to, I don't know, <laughs> figure out how to do a word search. And then on this side, you have the actual, actual words that are uh, highlighted in bold. So they give you an example here. This is the bottom up one, page number one, animation. And you can see here, A-N-I-M-A-T-I-O-N, -I -I animation, is found. And it's, uh, it's gg out of there. It's uh, nice and circled and checked off. So I actually took a class at school. I think it was, it might have been late middle school or early high school. I actually don't really remember exactly. I think it was late middle school. Uh, for those of you who are not in, like, I don't know, the U.S., that's, like, around 7th, 8th, and ninth grade. I actually took a game on, um, like, it was called, I think, Brain Games. And it was a class where they actually taught you how to make, uh, games like this, which is actually kind of cool. And I used to make my own crossword puzzles in that classroom. And basically what you do is you find a letter that you're looking for, which is, of course, beard. You find a B. And, of course, the second letter is E. So you very quickly sort of box in that letter that you're looking for, which is B, and see if there's any E's around there. If there isn't, then you just move on to the next B that you can find. But before I even do that, I find a word while looking for it, which is what you're also supposed to do when scanning through a word search, is to find easy words that are just spelled out like this, like characters. I think that's it, right? Just characters, nothing out of the ordinary as yeah, just characters. Now, I don't know. How aesthetically oh, pleasing it's gonna look on here, but hopefully nothing too crazy. Oh wow, the Sharpie's already going dead. That's awesome, great, great job, Jake. Continuing on our look for the word beard, we have B here, and in our little square box of B, we have B-E, which is obviously what we need for beard, but no B-E-A. So you just move on again. B, there is an E, not there. It's right here though, at the very bottom, I saw it. Beard, beard, B-E-A. Sorry, yeah, B-E-A. R and D beard. Beard. Beard is done. Awesome. See? Kind of easy while doing word search. Now, I obviously hope you are also doing this word search along with me. There is the word raw here. 
here, which I'm not sure is one of the words. Yeah, it's not. Okay. So, yeah, that's that's basically a good little easy way to get to this. So, like, again, bikini. Go back to some of the B, B, I, but no, B, I, K, B, nope. B, nope, B, B, nope, B, nope. There's a B, nope. Uh, B, I, B, I, K, I, N, I, bikini bottom, bikini. Very, very easy. Is there an S? Bikinis? No, it's not the plural. Okay, perfect. Which is great. Um, so, it's actually kind of cool that they have a Spongebob one. I am uh, a, a pretty big fan of Spongebob. Actually, one of my earliest memories of Spongebob. I'm sorry, just one of my earliest memories of life in general is watching the first episode of Spongebob on my family's TV. And uh, I can't believe how old that show technically is. I'm trying to find the word brown. B-R- a B B B B B B B R B R E no B B B B B B uh B R B R R no B nope B nope B nope B wow this is actually a really hard one to find let me know if you can find it right now for me I would be extremely extremely helpful. I might be blind, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to the word that we're trying to find here. I actually have no idea. I'm pretty sure we looked at all the, all the B's already, right? Oh, we have funny. That's one. Just saw this one finally. Which is right there. Funny, 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 ha ha, funny, 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 ha ha. Um, any other ones that are just kind of spelled out like this that I'm just like completely missing? I don't think so. I'm still surprised just, we haven't found the word brown. That's kind of, that's kind of making me very irritated. Any bees? No B. Nope. <laughs> oh, there it is. B. B R O W N. Shout out to Clancy Brown for whatever uh, work you did on Spongebob. But yeah, one of my earliest memories of just my life has been watching that first episode of Spongebob on the floor because we didn't have furniture at my uh, very much newly uh, moved into home when we first moved up here to uh, Portland, the Portland area, Pacific Northwest. And um, super crazy to think that show is still, I think it's still going on till this day, which is pretty wild. All right, let's actually look for like a good SpongeBob one. Uh, let's do Krusty for the Krusty Krab. So now we're gonna look for the letter K, and we're looking for K R for Krusty. Nope. Nope. Krusty Krab pizza. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> that, that that definitely still has to be one of the best episodes of. SpongeBob is the one where they deliver the Krusty Krab pizza. That is just an iconic one for sure. Nope. That is for dang Oh, wait, there's one right here. Graveyard. G R A V E Y R A R D. Graveyard. Awesome. Oh, it's not looking good whenever I from that angle. Um, I'm obviously not going to be able to complete this entire word search on this episode. Uh, lawnmower, one right here, L-A-W-N-M-O-W-E-R, lawnmower, which is a, not a Spongebob word whatsoever, unless... 
maybe SpongeBob has done a lawn mower episode before in the past. Probably not though. Um, I'm just gonna do as many as I can for now. And if you guys want to return to this for a future video, I would love to do that. Do you guys know I love it when you guys enjoy? <laughs> content so obviously if you guys enjoy the content i'll be doing a lot a lot more of it which would be a lot of fun but we also have again as a whole sudoku thing to go through as well k-r-u-s-t-y crusty for the crusty gray yeah 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 pizza yeah pizza is the pizza yeah for you seen that last part. Okay, for Spongebob, that's a word I really want to see if I can find. S-P-O. That's going to be a tough one to find. S- Not there. S-S-P- S-P-O-N-G-E-B-O-B Spongebobbo. <laughs> Spongebobbo. I'll just connect it with this one right here. I kind of cut off the word a little bit. And we'll just... Uh, where's that? Right here. S-P-O-N-G-E. SpongeBob. Oh, wait. I, <laughs> I did not to act... I didn't mean to actually do spongebob but I... We're doing spongebob Apparently, I accidentally made the Sharpie go a little too far. Anyways. Spongebob, that was actually a lot easier to find than I actually thought. So, you know, actually, we're flying through these kind of uh, easily, not gonna lie. Uh, maybe, um, let's do Patrick, obviously a fan favorite. Oh, and I think I just found it right there. P-A-T-R-I-C-K, Patrick, the first P in the word search. Oh, I'm messing up. Doing these diagonals is actually kind of tricky <laughs> to do. It's like kind of mind-boggling. Shout out to Patrick, Patrick Star. I don't even really know my favorite character from Spongebob. I think uh, Plankton, Plankton is, is maybe one of my favorites. I love his, his very sarcastic and irony type of comedy. It's very, 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 very funny. Any other ones we can try? Um, maybe because it is going to the spookier time of year. Let's do Ghost. I'm pretty excited to do, oh, it's right here some spooky content for you guys. Is it a plural? Yes, it's plural ghost. Um, I do have a video coming out relatively soon about some spooky stuff. I do have some even ASMR and public things that are going to be involving the Halloween season that I'm super excited about. Now, another thing that's very spooky is the word girlfriend. Definitely a very terrifying word that makes me shiver and tremble in my boots because that sounds terrifying. I'm not gonna lie. So, can we find the word girlfriend? G-I is the set we're looking for. And it's right there. G-I-R-L-F-R-I-E-N-D. Girlfriend. Extremely scary word. Chewing 
film and some of the video now chewing gum just in case someone doesn't like it that much it's not the entire video or they like it a lot it's still in the video all right we're on to the last thing of the night with some s-u-d-o-k-u sudoku sudoku some people pronounce it a bunch of different ways i, I think i just call it sudoku sudoku eh. it's like a word puzzle game basically um you might have seen this before on uh, some like phone games or you just newspaper articles and different things like that but you know sudoku is kind of just like a very traditional um a number i almost said word we're doing a lot of letters recently but now this is a number puzzle game but we're of course we're just going to start with the first one the easiest one hopefully it's the easiest one if i don't look dumb but basically with uh sudoku in this 
square. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that one's already a given. Kind of easy. So like with this one up here, these two last ones can only be two and three. Oh no, two and four. And two is already in this vertical line, so this has to be four. So this has to be
has like figured out how I did that. It's, that's not too crazy. Um, this one only needs one more number, and that's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, number eight. Eight. And this one needs the number seven. And the last one of this Sudoku puzzle is the number six, seven, eight, and then number nine. I'll see you again.